How do I enable VDD Awamu in BIOS? If you are looking to enable VDD, which stands for Intel Virtualization Technology for Directed Input Output, or IOMMU, which stands for Input Output Memory Management Unit, you have come to the right place. These features are essential for virtualization software to directly assign input output devices to virtual machines. This can lead to better performance and security for your virtual environments. Let's walk through the steps to enable these features in your computer's BIOS or UEFI firmware. First, you need to restart your computer. As it powers back on, pay attention to the screen for a prompt that tells you which key to press to enter the BIOS or UEFI setup. Common keys include Delete, F2, or F1, depending on your motherboard manufacturer. For instance, many ASUS motherboards requiring you to press the Delete key repeatedly during Start Hub. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI Set Hub, navigate to the Advanced tab or section. Here, look for an option called Intel Virtualization Technology, or AMDV, if you are using an AMD processor. This setting must be enabled as it is a prerequisite for VDD and IOMMU. Next, still under the Advanced tab, find the submenu labeled System Agent Configuration or something similar related to chipset or CPU settings. Look for the option named Intel VT4 Directed Input Output or IOMMU 4 AMD Systems. Change this setting from Disabled to Enabled. In some cases, you may also need to enable the memory remap feature. This option can usually be found in the same or a nearby menu. This step may be necessary to fully support VDD and IOMMU. After making these changes, navigate to the Exit tab. Select the option to save changes and reset or a similar command. This will reboot your system with the new settings applied. Once your operating system has booted up, you can verify that VDD or IOMMU is active. If you are using a Linux operating system, you can check the kernel messages by using the command dmesk grepdmar. This will confirm whether IOMMU is enabled. Additionally, ensure that your kernel is set up to use IOMMU by adding parameters like Intel IOMMU is equal to on for Intel processors or IOMMU is equal to PT for AMD processors to your bootloader configuration. Keep in mind that the exact names and paths in the BIOS menu can vary by motherboard brand and model. Some systems may have VDD or IOMMU disabled by default, so you will need to enable it manually. This feature is particularly important for advanced virtualization tasks like PCI pass-through, where a physical device is assigned directly to a virtual machine. By following these steps, you can successfully enable VDD and IOMMU in your BIOS, allowing your system to better manage input-output devices in a virtualized environment.